Welcome back to Eat the Race. This is week 70, day 3. Let's take a look at our defenses. Alright, um, so these are all the ones from yesterday. Yeah, these are day 1, this is day 2. So this is the only one that came in against Avatar. So let's take a look at his team. We got Legendary Chrome with basically base kit, same like mirror stancing, roaming win. We have their neutral Tina that they got with reposition and bracing attack death. Legendary Azura with Winds of Mercy and Gale Dance again. Gale Dance. Avoid it if you can. So it's better Torrent Dance or Earth Dance. Plus one Lucina. Sturdy Blow. Vantage. Dry Speed. Distant Guard. Ethern Reposition. And Ike. Plus two plus nine with DC Null C set. Attacks more quickly pose. Alright. So. We'll leave support animations off. It's just a dance. All right. So because they have a range in it there, they can move through the left side without triggering the trap. They managed to kick their healing tower. They still hit the trap. Because they wanted to test this and they do have healings, so... Alright. Getting ready to tank Roy with... No, they just went for the kill. But missed the kill. And then they send their Ike in to finish the job. So in goes for Seer. Fortunately for them, because they had to move their Ike all the way up there, they weren't able to leave him with um, Lucina support. Which is why he couldn't heal with either, so Doom is able to take him out. Azura just warps in and attacks the Cena. Then everybody moves forward. Chrome one shots our Duma. And then they retreat. The only one in range to attack is Azura, so she goes in. And I'll tend to kill, kill, take her out with Twin Blades. So now they're beating Ike. Unfortunately, because they're not running Heavy Blade, they cannot proc their special, and Ike takes out Altina. This is the reason why I run Heavy Blade on Altina. So, once they lost two units, they surrender. As far as our offense goes, teams are still the same. Nothing's changed. I still don't know what I want to do with Altina. I, ca I do want to see if I can run that Gale Force set, but to do that, I'll need Wings of Mercy, Gale Force, and I need to have a um, Heavy Blade on the A slot. Uh, I just don't have feathers to 5 star both a Cordelia and a Janky. Cordelia for Gale Force and Janky for Heavy Blade. Everything else remains the same. 
same things as yesterday. So let's see what's in store for us. Alright, leaf. Leaf and Tracer. And Roy. Oh, I mean Elwood. Yeah, same difference. And Ike. So this is actually a pretty good team. Everything is back there. The ether is far away. Shrines are easily accessible and you can get rid of them without um, fear of they activating something. I do have the traps so it's easy to get a um, Tracer to get um, Altina into uh, Vantage. I just have to maneuver her around my healing tower. If it's this one, it's easy. Because once she's here, she will be out of healing tower's range anyway. But if it's here, I'll have to like reposition her, dance her, and move her out of the way. Like dance, have her move, reposition her, then like reposition her again. So I could go from this spot and bait out Tracer. So let's look at the teams. It's a plus two Azura, plus two, plus three, Fury, Wings of Mercy, Attack Tactics, and Chill Death. Plus ten, plus eight, Lucina with Fury four, even Paul Stai. Wow. So they kill the nails. Double Drive Res. Plus ten, plus ten. Ike, no CDC, standard set. Plus two leaf, reposition, distant defense. This Tracer with reposition, Swiss power two. And then a plus 10, plus five, Elliewood with launch, attack, smoke, story blow, gale force. Attack speed solo. So. Mm, so this can handle you, you, and you. Altina can handle you. That means Elwood is the only thing remaining to take out. And Lucine, I mean, um, Fiorm can handle you. So I guess I could bring Fiorm. Yeah. But who do I leave for last? I mean, I need to leave somebody alive. I would love to leave Azura alive, but she might just kill herself if I put Altena here. Because as long as you just destroy this, you can even destroy the Bright Shrine and the Dark Shrine again. This part, I will come down and hit it. So if I leave Sothis right here, Yeah, I will come down, then he'll get repositioned by either Lucina or Leaf, and then either Luc either one of them will get danced, so probably Leaf will go here. Say I goes down here, one and two, he breaks it. I will be here. I believe Lucina should be the one that repositions. So let's say it's Leaf just outward. Worse for us. You'll go over here and dance Ike over here. Reposition Ike back to where he started. Then Azura will go over here and dance Leaf from here. He'll have one, two, three, and he will not be able to reach further than that. Then Elliewood will start moving this way as well. One, two, three. Regardless, nobody can reach this spot. So I'm safe at least on that. But then... I think I should bring Leaf instead of um, Fjorm just because I'll need... I'll need the range to um, get the Eaters. I didn't stop it. I didn't accidentally start the recording, so 
I guess it's leaf again. Yep, I have the repositions to move Altina back. So it would work like this. Altena here to take this out and proc the trap. If it is, then she'll get dance. She'll go here. Other Altena will put her here. Alright, so it will go like this. Here dance, move her back here, reposition here, move Sotis up here and then drag back. From here she'll be on this on this spot where Leaf is starting and will be completely out of the way the healing tower just to attract Tracer. And mostly we just need to do that because we don't got we don't want to get hit by the dark shrine or chills are there any chills actually do we okay so we got chill defense but sophis has 33 defense Technically, an Altena with no buffs can just tank from there. Instead of doing all of this complicated stuff, I can just make Altena do it. As long as she doesn't have buffs. She, yeah, with no buffs, she won't get hit by anything bright shine is always going to hit softest because she has 59 51 and dark shine will hit whichever altina gets buffs so yeah i can do that just softest nails is going to be needed to Play with Azura at the end. And if this is the real trap, then that puts me into vantage. It's not a big deal. Alright. So let's take this out. Alright. Not the real trap. Which means this is the real trap. Mm. Don't want to give her buffs, so hmm. I can do this with utter certainty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Want to destroy it, but I also want to make sure she's not next to thirty-five, thirty-two, thirty-five, forty-five. Actually, she won't get rest next turn. Yeah, this, Al this Altena will get rest, putting her 35-42. Well, this Altena will not get rest, putting her at 35-39. Meaning this one will get chill. Actually, no, what am I saying is defense, defense. Yeah, 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 it's a real trap. I already knew that. Alright. Now you... Yep, you have 35. And you only have 30. No debuffs, no nothing. We don't move just in case. Actually, what do you need? 
what was it again? One, two, dance, over here, return. Start from here, one, two, three. Attack this lot, so okay. we'll move out of the way. With utter certainty. And let's go. Yo, come trust here. Destroyed. He did not reposition. He won't get up in the future. And I'll heal enough. I hope I heal enough, actually. No, I did not heal enough. I needed four more points. I needed four more points to be able to heal. Friends, I will not and that's it. Um, we're pretty much done. We can... You have my trust. We can take him out. I mean, it is finishable. I can finish this map. I just... I don't see the point now. What do you need? We got ladder, so we will ladder this. Yep. That's fine. Like I said, I'm gonna ladder this. Let's stop wasting time. Yep, he managed to get us. Just we need a little bit more attack. If we are gotten rid of the attack, the bright shrine, then we probably would have enough attack on Sothis. To heal just enough. So, battle number two. Okay, this is a little more straightforward. Yeah, this is a lot more straightforward, nothing much to this map. See, they didn't even bring a, a dark shrine, so this is pretty. You just put Sothis right here and call it a day. I mean, Lucina is not going to be able to outspeed us. And even if she could, what is she going to do? Sothis cannot outspeed us, so she won't be able to do anything. You can restore, but... You have boots, yeah. Which means you'll restore Azura. Azura will dance you, and that's pretty much it. So I'll just put Sotis right here. Reposition from here. Take this out, and then put her here. So this is the Sotis team. Again, we'll go over team Hector, Duo Hector. 40 plus 3, swap, ether, disencounter, follow up, horn armor, blade, heavy blade 3, base kit. Plus 2 flower trasier with reposition and a attack plus 3. Plus 3 flowers azura with wings of mercy, drive attack. Plus 1 erica with Joyous Lantern, Dazzling Staff, Tag plus 3, Armor Blow, Armor Boots, I mean. Lucina with Life and Death, Desperation, or Attack Wave, Attack plus 3, plus 6, plus 10. 
and Nagi plus two flowers with quick repose base kit. Actually, I think she comes with uh, a Dragon Valor, so guess she's missing one thing. Minus six. I don't even have a problem with just destroying this and just letting her come forward. Basically, nothing can get out of there. You have my trust. What do you need? Yep. Basically, what I say will happen. Huh? I bestow this blessing. Here comes the next one. And that's it. A time to celebrate. A fine evening. Um, what do we do? Could move up this way. I think right here is that she'll restore. She might stall if she stays right there. It's because she'll restore. Dance restore and not really go anywhere so a time to celebrate i see a fine evening we'll move forward oh, okay right that was the real trap you have my trust twenty three speed 22 speed. Restore. Dance. Move out of the way finally. And there goes Tracia. Take you out. Take you out. By these twin blades. It's actually kind of boring now. Huh? Like, you have a match that's semi difficult, and then all of a sudden you just a time to get an easy map. What turn is this? It's an odd number turn, so we don't even have to worry about Hector. I can do this. Consider it done. Yep. So utter certainty. Choose your path. You have my trust. Yeah. That's pretty much it. Yeah, this the second match was just no challenge at all. Like the first map at least required me to think a little bit and even if I did mess up, it was still 
a lot more fun to have challenging maps than just extremely simple maps. Alright, so we're tier 23 at the moment. Doing good this season now that we can actually score better by having two mythics. See how we're doing. Yep. So over here we got Ashikai. She has her own channel. Just watch, it's pretty fun. She does clears with um a lot of Telio series uh units. So Ikes, Sorens. She has a really disgusting Soren. Uh but um, his YouTube channel is Recadol. He is pretty good. Um, does a lot of Vantage strats. And then Indulger. Also watch his channel. If you can subscribe to him. He's only a few from reaching 1000. So. And he likes to do mock battles. So um, if you like to have your team tested. You can try um, heal battle you in a mock battle other than that there's no news as far as I remember nope just Grand Conquest about to start alright so that's it for today thank you all for watching I'll see you all next time bye